first of all, I want to thank you so much for this ceremony. You know, everyone in the Calgary and Cadet Corps has obviously worked so hard to put this together. I mean, you know, there wasn't the retirement ceremony fairy came on and sprinkled some fairy dust and made all this happen by itself. Um, over the course of the last several weeks, certainly I've, I've seen folks working late and coming in early just to put this together for Wendy Walker and I, and it's not something that was required, but uh, you know, I'm feeling the love right now. I mean, I really am, and, and I really do appreciate that. They put in so much overtime, and, and the gifts, my goodness, I mean, how, how wonderful was that? And, and Ms. Davenport, uh, you know, what, what a cool, cool gift. I've never seen anything like that before, and that's certainly going to, to have a place of honor. I, you know, I've always been appreciative of all the gifts that, uh, that I've gotten in, in the last 30 years. And, you know, you've been in my office, most of you have, you've been at home, and you can collect a whole bunch of stuff uh, over the course of, of, of 30 years. Uh, but I've got a plan. Um, my great-grandfather, John Lee, um, settled in, uh, in southwest Oklahoma, and it was still Indian Territory, so he was Indian Territory. So he was a true Sooner. And, uh, and he had great tales and stories. <clears throat> he would go to uh, Fort Sill at Lawton on weekends and take Geronimo, who was in prison, and take him to the reservation. And he told stories of uh, Chief Juan Parker and having dog soup with him, and just a hundred other stories. But back in their house, they had this little separate room, and that was his room. And you know what I'm talking about, Lynn? And Mom, you, you know you're that too. He had all these pictures of, of life in the Wild West. Um, and there were guns, and there were harnesses, and there were just all this cool stuff. And I couldn't wait uh, to get over to Daddy John's house. And I first thing I would do, I'd go back to that room and say, you know, Daddy John, who is this person? Tell me about this. And of course, I'd heard the stories about a million times before. Uh, but I still wanted to hear him tell me those stories. And, and I appreciate that so much. So, one of these days, I'm going to have a Daddy John room. <laughs> with all this stuff that, uh, and gifts that I've been able to uh, collect, that we've been able to collect uh, for all these years. And, and one of these days, my grandson, no pressure buddy, but you know. 